you know, and you know, and what I think what's nice about with riding a bike, there was never an, you could never be the, like if you're a runner, there was always a max of how fast you're going to go. And I did get him faster over the years, but with riding, it was so, you could invent anything you wanted. Exactly. So there was never no end. Did you ever invent a trick? I invented a couple. Like what? Uh, the, it's called the Falcon Roll. The Falcon so Roll. that is like a, um, it, it's like an inverted 360. <laughs> it's entertaining. You know, this is, so, this is YouTube gold. Yeah, well, <laughs> we've, we've got a couple out there what's on YouTube. The what's the no. Falcon? Let's tell me. So it's, it's, it's like a, an off access 360. But it was, a, it, it was a strange one. It, it happened by accident. Why? Well, you off? No, I just went too fast at a ramp. And just, it just the way when I hit it, yeah. I kind of I pulled back a lot, so it kind of put me upside down. Lucky I, I didn't crash because if I'd have crashed, it'd have been it'd hurt. But then I, I guess just so with muscle mem memory, yeah. your body just gets used to doing it, and then you work it out, and then taking it over to another ramp. Obviously, we'd have in, in the US we'd have the foam pits, so you could try it in that. Mm. Then, oh, then onto a resi, which is a soft landing like rubber, and then before you know what you're doing over the. Yeah. the real thing so that that was a big that, that that trick won a cup like i remember being in uh i don't know where i was la no sacramento i was in right near san fran and i won best trick with that which is cool because i didn't even know i won it i just got a paycheck at the end how much about fifteen hundred dollars just for the trick so I thought, that's, that's not too bad <laughs> not popped bad, up for the weekend yeah. got paid oh, i think i got ninth there yeah and then back then you used to get appearance fee not appearance yeah. fee but you knew you was getting paid before exactly You've got to earn something, yeah. you know. Um, that's what, what changed. Was biggest, what was the biggest paycheck you had on a, on a competition? Millions. But really? No, no, I don't know. But like, probably like 15,000, something like 15, that. What, and that's first place? Yeah, yeah. So, but there's some big ones. Even King of Concrete, I, I, I did like nine or 10,000 there. Pounds as well, which well, was good. Southsea. Southsea, because then the dollar... 10,000? Yeah, and that's when the dollar was like 2.1. 2. With that little, you know, blast of that. So when I went back to the states, it was it was even you know, double the money, you know. Uh, but money was a lot better back then. You know, you knew that you knew you was going to earn money. You know, once you got in, because it was because a lot of the stuff was invite only. So if you was getting invited. So, but when you were sponsored, you were getting they were, you, were you getting retained. You well, know, you, you from, get money from sponsors, you know, and then obviously. Depending on which sponsor it was, some guys, you know, they'd be on the sponsorship match and prize money. Yeah. Then obviously then you've got shows, what you do. And then, the, actually, looking back, the, the money was not too bad to do shows. Yeah. But when you, when you was doing the shows, you felt like you wasn't getting paid enough because of what you was earning. But if you look at it now, yeah. you're kind of like, hey, that's not a bad day's money exactly. to do five tricks. So you're saying at the, so, moment, at the moment the, the sport is sort of dying down, as you said. It's in, it's in, it's, 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 it's in a sense. situation, really. It's in, a, it's in a, not a bad place. I just, there's a lot more could be done mm -hmm. in the sport than what has, has been happening, you know. It's a lot of take without any giving back. Yeah. You know, if you kind of think, think of the top riders, you know, you sort of think. I mean, some, some are, you know, with the YouTubes and stuff now. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, we're with my friend Scotty and, and that YouTube channel that we're all on, like that, it gives back to people that don't even know about the sport. Yeah. You know, it gives them something to... So Scotty's your mate in America. You yeah, he's, he's, like my, he's my best friend. Best friend. You, you know, like we, he had a really bad accident, didn't he? He did, but he had a real bad, yeah. He actually, uh, yeah, he came off. We, we was in Las Vegas and he crashed. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he, he had a real bad accident. But he's getting better. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's getting a lot better now. It's, at the time, I mean, it's a lot, even when you see, I mean, that, that affected me a lot, yeah. to be honest. That, that, that's kind of what's calmed me down a lot on the bike. Exactly. To where I'm like, you know what, just, just go out there, everyone looks stylish. Yeah. The tricks. Did that, put, uh, uh, did that sort of go around the BMX world quite quickly, that this young yeah. chap has nearly oh. killed himself and he could be paralysed by just doing something he loved doing? It was, I mean, that was... Uh, and it was a freak, bit of a freak accident. It, 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 it was a freak like, accident. It's like just crossing the road and getting knocked over, really, isn't it? Pretty it's much. It's that freak, isn't it? It was, yeah. He could have been walking and fell down that hole. Yes. And still broke his neck. And still done, he broke his neck. And, uh, I mean, everyone knew instantly, I think, um, pretty much by the next morning. Mm. You know, it was quite limited in what people knew, but um, obviously, I mean, I was, I was at the hospital all night, and then, you know, your phone starts, come like 10 a.m. the next day, 
you, you know, I mean, I'm getting phone calls from people that don't even have my number. You know, like, it's like, and it, yeah. So it, 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 it hit quite quick. And obviously with the YouTube as well, I mean, at that point, it, I think it's probably around 600,000 followers. Yeah. So there was a lot of people out there that worldwide as well that instantly knew, not even even so involved with BMX. He, he was already at his YouTube channel documenting his life and then this happened. Yeah, every day. We'd film every day. We'd film maybe one did, or two videos did, a day did, for so that. So after, after his accident, did, was there filming carrying on about his recovery? And there, there was. I mean, we kept the YouTube going and then obviously then, yeah, then they, 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 they follow him, um, the progress and yeah. now, I mean, he's, he's back yeah. filming and, you know, but everyone at home got to see pretty much from, I, I don't know, maybe four weeks after the accident, mm. then up till now. And he, he does a regular update videos on how he's getting on and stuff. Um, it's actually, it's, yeah, it's really good to see. Is, is, he, how. is he really passionate about the sport himself? He loves it. He loves it. I mean, he's back on the BMX. Yeah. You know, he's riding, doing, doing it. And so he, he, does he go out and see, he, like, meet young kids and get them motivated and inspire them to get on the bike and Everyone, practice. every day, really, is, um, especially f just from YouTube, because now it got so big, anywhere you kind of go, people know who you are. Yeah. So it, it's just a constant, it's just, the messages you get on Instagram, even you know what what I get, kids saying thank you so much yeah. for everything you do on there. You know we were in a bad place, but yeah. after seeing you and you guys together, it's yeah. brought us up. So, you know it's you get some real touching messages, yeah. which is cool because that's the reason I'm. You can you can be the best in the world at something if you're not affecting other people's lives and doing something good. Exactly. It doesn't really matter. It, it, that. Uh, you know, there's some right. It's just some... sending that positive message. It's and been you positive. tend to find the, ki the kids who ended up down the skate park yeah. are the kids who are outside the norm. You know, I, I was, yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't. You know, my dad died when I was ten years old, and then I was like, I was like, I don't know, maybe looking for something. Yeah. Because you tend to find all we we were all stuck together. It's like our own little sort of club. Yep. And everyone outside was was like, you know into football violence or going to get pissed or, yeah. you know, it, it protected us for years, you know. It, that, yeah, it's a good, there's a, it's a good circle of, yeah. of people, especially because everyone's got the same kind of, I guess the same sort of goals in it. Everyone wants to get better yeah. and then you're getting better together. So then, you, and it's a little bit competitive. I don't know if you had that. Like, really there's a lot of people you think, right, I'm getting over that day. He's not doing that trick before me. Every day. You know, you're up at 6 a.m., right. I've, you know, what's going on? I've worked out before. I've got to just to pump the muscles up, so I've got extra power to that. You know, yeah. it was, it was like that. And then, and then you knew a contest was coming up. You're thinking, if he beats me, your best friends. Yeah, but you start, You think, oh, I ain't having but it. But you know, skill this. levels, as it, you know, when you practice with someone, yeah. unless you're really extraordinary, uh, you know, and a lot better, okay. everyone's quite similar on skills. That, do you think they are? You go, you kind of got the groups together because you all started out kind of and like novice. the day. On the day, it's, it's you who know, it's pull off and who can't, or, or and, who's nervous and who's not. Yeah, and someone's always been doing secret stuff, you know, you don't know about. They'd, they'd nip up to somewhere, which, you know, where are they today? You think they're just not coming? Really? They've not. been practicing somewhere else, you know. They, you know, they they get there, oh, backflip, and where's that come from? He's going to beat me now. You know what I mean? I'm not having it. You know, <laughs> then you do a trick, and then be, you know, then you crash or or whatever. But um, yeah, but it's funny with that because I, I've always thought it, it comes. BMX is a strange one, or being an athlete, probably in general. You start because you have so much fun. It's not about being the best. Then you have it to where you ride because your friends are riding, and that's fun. Then you get better. Then it's like, well, I, I want to win contests. I want to be a part of this. And then what? So you do that for years. And then, because BMX has been dying, the contests start to fade away. So you kind of take that part away because you're not really fired up. Because two months say you'd be like, right, do tours coming up. Yeah, but, yeah, but, uh, X Games are still strong, isn't it? And, uh, and, and there's still these competitions going on. There is, but it's, it's obviously now it's in the Olympics. Yeah. 2020 BMX has been added. So the contest structure's changed. Mm. So there's a contest. Is it going to be, what, a vert in the, in the Olympics? No, it's park. park. So all the, all the, all the ramps, yeah. which... It's great. You've got the, some of the stuff the guys are doing now is, is unbelievable. Yeah. But it's become very. It's a visual. Like it's, 
the it's visual, just, yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, oh, the, the, the stuff. Who, who was that guy in that? Um, Brandon Lupos from China. I've never seen a, a, something you know, just incredible what they're doing. Uh, it was the best. Run, it was the best run, realistically, that's ever been done. I mean, that was up there with like what my friend Scotty would do, because Scotty would always come with something new. Mm. You know, you wouldn't know if he was going to pull it. And I so think Scotty was that good as well, was he? Scott, Scotty was the best. He's the best in the world. What he's, yours, mate? Scotty. My, my was. friend Scotty, he's, he's as good as, and he's better than all, all of them Seriously. still. Not still, but you know, like um, he, because he was on, he was just on a different level, like of inventing. He was, he was a step ahead of the rest. Yeah. You know, um, and he wasn't scared of crash. Mm. You know, he, he'd turn up, and if someone beat him, he may not have done a double backflip since he was sixteen. Even do a double backflip, didn't pull it. Lost, lost a couple of teeth, but he was that, he'd go out there, yeah. and he, he wasn't there to get, you know, fifth place. Yeah. He, he, he went out there, and it's a the stage presence he had when certain riders drop in. So he was a showman? Showman, he, he just knew, and he, the passion, you see the passion come from. Same with Brandon on that run. There's a lot of riders that they could have done that run, but you just knew when Brandon dropped in off that, that first ramp, I think he did a bar spin just into the ramp, just so you're like, he knew. He, and it's like, wow, here we go. Thing was... The power was there. You're like, we're, we're on for a, a, a good ride here, which is nice. Sometimes you don't get that, that stage presence. And a lot of the riding now is very similar. Mm -hmm. Everyone does the same tricks. Mm 